And there you see Bailey Coleman getting the start today. Georgia State getting the second start of the season. Great outing last time out for Georgia State. He's 1 0. Look at that ERA of 3.29. Now the big right-hander, 6'3", out of Hiram, Georgia. And he's going to get things started for the Panthers today as they try to take two out of three in this weekend series. Second weekend of conference play. Wearing at number 35. He looks in, gets his sign, kicks and fires. And that ground ball right back up, taken, had the shift on. And shortstop Ruiz makes the play over the first base and one down quickly. Coleman, the pitch to the plate. Swung on, that's a fly ball to center field and drifting back, back, back. The track right in front of the wall, making the catch. Maximus Martin. Pitch. That one. And draws the walk. Betting average. Got a swing and boy pops that one straight up. Back, back pedaling, making that one. Squeezing, no, not squeezing, but dropping is Johnson. Johnson safe. Second base and a run comes in to score. Pitch to the plate that's inside. That one gets away. And trotting home, he will score standing up. JoJo Jackson getting the second run of the game for Georgia State. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Struck him out to end the inning. Coleman getting his signal. Getting his sign. Pitch. Swung on and miss. Struck him out. Pitch. Call strike three. Pitch to the plate. Driven to center field. And he's going to drop in. Get behind the center field and roll. Mize is going to end up standing up at second base with a double. And he has reached that milestone. Pitch to the plate. Swung on to center field, and that's going to drop in. Mize at third. He's getting waved. He's headed for home, and he's going to be in there safely. Making the Georgia State lead 3-1. Lots of pressure for Justin Robinson. Here's his pitch. Swung on. Base hit right field. One runs in. A second run will come in and score. The Georgia State lead is now up to 5-1. Up 5-1, here's the pitch to the plate. Swung on the right field and drifting back at the track that was off the wall by Ruiz. And he's cruising in the second with a double. And at third is Jesse Donahoe. Base, base hit up the middle. It's going to drive in one, in one run in. A second run will come in to score. And Will Myers, who last time I had a double for his 200 career hit, has driven on a pair of runs here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Another crooked number in this inning for the Georgia State Panthers as the lead grows to 7-1. to one. And look, look at Myers. Pitch to the plate. Swung on, slow roller. A play not made that time by the third baseman, Haggard. Runs coming home. Ball hits the runner. Myers, as he scores... The runners, other runners advance to second and third. Another run across by Georgia State. Pitch to the plate. Swung on to right field. That's drifting back at the track and hauling that one in. But the runner's going to tag up and score. Dow drives home the run with the fly ball to right field. and Winfield, pitch, grounded first base side. Donahoe with it. Lobs over the Chastain to cover first base, and that will do it for the seventh inning. He keeps you guessing. Bouncing ball by third base. Another run's going to come in to score for Georgia State, making it 10-3 and standing on first base with a two-run double. Third baseman basically where the shortstop would normally be. Has a slow roller. Donahoe's going to get it unassisted, and that is the ball game for the day. That is it. The Panthers' record improves to 13 and 11 and 5 and 1 in conference play.